Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel that likes to try anything so you don't have to. What we're having a look at today is a OBD2 sensor that we picked up from Aldi this morning. And uh, what we thought we'd do is just show you what's inside the packaging, open it all up, uh, and then have a look at it and see what it's like as it works and stuff like that really. And um, see if it's any good. All right then, shall we have a look in the packaging? What I've done, I've just kind of quickly incised or cut around here just to get it open as quick, as easy as I could. And let's uh, zoom in. And there you are, that's the actual unit itself. Um, it's quite a sturdy, well, it's a bit plasticky kind of unit. I mean, I am kind of looking at it for the price that I'm paying, which is £14.99. Um, there's the OBD2 sensor itself, which should be easy to fit. And there's the actual unit itself that's got the actual, um, uh, that's got all the diagnostic going on in there. Um, there's two buttons here, which is enter and scroll. And um, we're going to just quickly put it in the car and see what happens. Right, so what we've done here, uh, we've plugged the unit into the OBD2 port, which is located in the Golf underneath the, uh, well, just above the uh, accelerator pedal, just down there where my right foot is. Um, it's plugged in and I haven't turned the car on at all because um, that's not what you're meant to do. Apparently what you're meant to do is um, plug the actual OBD2 sensor into the port. You'll have to forgive me because the uh, it's quite reflective, the screen and... Uh, it's quite a sunny day today, so I'm trying to keep it at an angle so you can see what's going on at the actual um, port area, as it were, or sorry, the information area, just there. Um, what you're meant to do then is you're meant to um, put your key in the car and then turn the car to, turn the car to ignition, but not turn the engine over. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to pop the um, key in to the actual ignition uh, to the ignition um, there and just turn it so it's the actual car is on but not the engine turning over. So if you bear with me, I'll just do that now. Right then, um, I've done that. I've popped the key in and I've turned the um, ignition on. So it's all, you know, it's all lovely and okay and it's all on and uh, ready to for me to turn the actual engine over. And, and as a matter of interest, that engine light there, it's not, um, it's not a light that goes on. It, it does turn off when you turn the car over. But um, so what you're meant to do now, you're meant to press enter. Uh, while the, um, the engine's not running, but it is on. So I'm going to do that. And what it does then do, it goes through a load of protocols so it connects to the car's ECU unit. And then once it's gone through, you get this display here, which goes onto one, which is a uh, diagnosed trouble codes. So you can scroll through the menu here, which is, it's, it's very simple, to be honest, this unit. You go to arrays, and then the next one you go to option three, which I believe might be information known as information management or something like that. And what it does, it just checks the, it's a IM readiness function used to check the operations of the emission system on the OBD2 compliant vehicles. And that's just reading it out the actual instruction manual here. And what it will check for um, or will scan for is uh, misfires, fuel system monitors, com comprehensive, or it will just check to see if the sensors are available or working or ready. And um, if I tap on that now, I'll just press enter. It goes through the actual sensors that the car's either got on or off or stuff. Uh, let me just center it up. So if I scroll through, you've got this one's a misfire monitor. This one, oh, sorry, that's the misfire monitor. That's fuel system monitor, which is ready. Next one's comprehensive components monitor, catalyst monitor, heated catalyst monitor, evaporative system, secondary air monitor, AC system. I have got an AC system in this car, but it's just saying it's not um, not available. Um, O2 sensors monitor, O2 sensor heater monitor, EGR system monitor, and then what you then do is press enter to go to the main menu. And then, as I say, it's very simple. You've, I mean, you can view the car's VIN number, which I won't do in this in this uh, application, um, just for security reasons. So what I'm going to do is um, just tap on this, which is the uh, diagnostic trouble or diagnosing tr any trouble codes that the engine might have or the ECU has um, kind of acknowledged. Uh, I'll just press on enter. And luckily, my car doesn't have any codes. Now, unluckily, I can't show you any kind of 
problem codes that you could have a look at and see if this system is any good for diagnosing. But you, what you can do as well, which is option two, is you can actually erase them. Now, there is a, a warning in the manual where it, will, it says it will erase all codes and any kind of manufacturer codes that may have become available for any kind of recalls and stuff like that. But again, I'm not sure, but it, will, it does come with a kind of a warning. As well as all the information that you do get within, uh, sorry, with the um, little unit, the the information that's held within this manual is, you know, it's quite in interesting really what it can do and what it gives you an idea of what it's checking for. But the, the part that really impresses me is the, um, the amount of um, codes that it's listed. Now, I tend, if I find a code on my car that's got a problem, um, or any car that I know I've diagnosed as a problem. I mean, I'm no mechanic, but I always jump on the net and just type in the actual P number or the actual diagnostic code number and it does come up. But this, it just saves me all that hassle, really. I can just quickly look at it while, um, or look at what's going on while, uh, while it's giving me the codes in the car, which is very handy. The only thing I will say in comparison is it doesn't give you as much information as the other one that I reviewed, which I'll put a link to and it's you know that is via bluetooth and it's via an app on the iphone which gives you a lot more information about what's going on with the car the revolutions any kind of oxygen or anything in the engine or what the sensors are reading so in that aspect it's this is very simple in the way it works which for some people is ideal and for the price point you're paying 14 pound and it apparently will clear any codes which i haven't been able to check in this car because i'm quite fortunate not to have them but um, it will clear them as well from what I'm reading in the instruction manual. So my initial impression is it is a simple unit, which can give you not a lot of information, but just really for diagnosing any trouble codes or any kind of sensors that you've got in the car. But it doesn't give you a readout um, of the kind of information that you may want to know if you're looking at, um, want to look at more in depth in what you get. But, you know, I'm impressed with its simplicity and its ease of use and... Um, well, the reason why I did buy this is, you know, look. if I'm looking for a, like a new car or a newer car, then I'll bring this with me and I can easily plug it in with no batteries, no apps, no Wi-Fi needed or any kind of messing about. I can just plug it in, scan for any codes, and then I know if there's any issues with that car. And if there is, and it's a bad one, walk away. Well, I hope you like what you've uh, quickly seen with this quick review. Um, it's not as in-depth as probably some people want, but there's plenty of other kind of OBD2 sensor reviews on YouTube. But I ho hope you like what you see. And if you want any more information about this unit, then please pop a, a comment in the list below. We have got more future videos coming up with uh, other kind of reviews of different types of things like places, products and stuff like that. So please subscribe and uh, like this video if you like the content that we placed. We hope you like the video and we wish you a great day. Goodbye.